Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Pix4D fields to process a plot trial and then to draw in the boundaries or import them and then process the data in a way that you can then export a CSV for statistical analysis. First thing I'm going to do is I've loaded the images that are in here. I'm going to make sure that my settings are proper so I'm going to make sure that I use rig relative calibration, radiometric correction, I need to select if it's an overcast or clear sky, which it was a clear sky. And then I'm also going to uncheck my orthomosaic limits so that it's a full resolution project. I click apply and then I click start processing. To give you some background on this data set, it was flown in mid-summer of 2019 at MSU Sanborn Field. I used a Parrot Sequoia Plus along with a um, radiometric calibration tile. This allowed me to, this will allow us to then give a full radiometric calibration of the data set so that our colors stay true from day to day, week to week. It's automatic, the software does this automatically in the processing um, that is doing here in just a few minutes. When I calibrate or I capture a calibration tile, I take it on a level surface in full view of sun or in the full view of sun without shading it or shadowing it with either my drone above it or with casting light upon it from perhaps you know some other object around it that would bias the colors. Now the process is, processing is done and we can see the data set as it is and what it looks like. We would like to trim this to analyze it so I want to import my um, boundaries. So we'll go to our boundaries, click import shape, and then navigate to where you would have those stored at. Now that I have my boundary in, I can trim this so that I can analyze just the areas where the plots are and not the cars or the buildings around it. With this done, now I can just go ahead and import the annotations or the areas of where I want to analyze the plots. So now I'll just go over here to import shapes or images, click shapes, and then I'll select the area where I had already done it with the padding. I've already had these images already loaded and this is actually quite nice because now I can see the thumbnails that are associated with each of these plots and I can double click on these areas and then see what these plots look like on the day that the drone flight was taken. You can see up here on plot 39 or 34 what this one looked like and that it was with uh, six tons of manure and it has a corn, soybean, wheat, and red clover rotation. Now I could use this RGB ortho mosaic to either draw these plots if I wanted to manually and then export them or I could use this in some way for a demonstration for other people to see in a PDF report. Now I'm going to go ahead and generate the indices that I would like to see of this plot and analyze. And I'm going to select the NDVI and the NDRE for this particular application. I click Generate, and then they automatically generate. Now with the visualization, I can go in and choose which way I want to see these. I can also adjust how I see these um, visuals and what type of data I'd like to filter out if I wanted to filter out perhaps soil. I'd also like to import my annotations for these areas so that I can analyze these, especially the padded ones. And I'm going to turn off my annotations. Or I'm going to turn on the annotations but turn off my thumbnails. Same thing with the NDVI, do the same. Now, now that I have both the NDVI and the NDRE with their plot boundaries in, I can go ahead and export my CSV. 
I can click Statistics, I can choose the NDRE, the NDVI, and then I can choose which type of separator I would like to have. I would like to use a comma, or a, sorry, I'd like to use a point. Click Export, select the folder, and then the ex it automatically exports the statistics of each of these areas. When complete, you can view these statistics in a CSV file if you automatically open them. And you'll notice that we, sh we show the mean index value of the area, its standard deviation, and we also show the visible. The visible is the actual area that's seen in the pixels that are shown. So if you mask out different pixels in these areas in the histogram, then you will not have statistics on those areas. If you want to do a more comprehensive analysis, you can then create graphs and charts of each of the mean averages of each of the plots and plot that against the different types of indices that you have. Or you can pull the CSV file into another software that then can compile the statistics. So very quickly we have now shown how to utilize the PIX4D fields to process the data, to outline the plots and import the plots if there's boundaries that exist, to create the indices, and then to export the CSV file. So this concludes how to use PIX4D fields to quickly map, process an index, and export statistics.